principles of community development um, actually um, have driven me into politics um, and a great influence um, the way in which I, I seek to be a minister for social justice, to deliver social justice in Wales. So it's a really, really important occasion. But I'm so pleased to be learning today about the Partneria Plechi Glow of Blood Partnership. Uh, it's just really inspiring. I managed to see a bit of the film, so all the words I heard from the participants is really so true. The key findings from this. And it is, it's not just a legacy, it's actually what happens next, isn't it? Not all of those who participated will want to see how it will influence, how it will influence us in government, but not just Welsh government, local government, all the statutory partners who have a role to play, as well as business in Wales. Um, they, they, those key findings resonate very strongly with the work that we're doing, and it's cross-government work uh, with cabinet colleagues Cabinet colleagues, particularly Julie James, Minister for Climate Change, Rebecca Evans, Minister of Finance and Local Government, um, in the way that we're trying to develop, help develop with you uh, a community policy, which will influence all parts of government. Um, because you have given us a clear example of the experience of successful community development. And from our assessment so far, we know we can do more to ensure that all our programmes and policies and funding streams join up more effectively with each other and with the work of other agencies at the local level. But as we all say, and you will be quite clear in coming through on the film, the way you've done it is to involve local people, involve people in develop, helping to shape our policy, to help shape delivery. We want to make sure that our programmes and, and the funding streams that we have, under huge pressure, of course, as a result of 30 years of austerity, but we have to be absolutely clear that they can be flexible, they can be responsive to local needs, that they can be part of the process of community empowerment. And obviously this is part, what you have done is to build capacity with communities to show the assets of people and communities to ensure that everyone can benefit. So what we're doing for the next steps, which um, you will be involved in, in terms of our partners in Wales, is expand these discussions at every level um, to include communities themselves. And that's how you can steer us into that direction, to guide us in that direction. We will fully respect all existing engagement, local structures, including community groups, third sector organisations, but also ensure that the work that we're doing at a more regional level, um, not just local authority, but regional level, our public service boards actually can be engaged and you will have to help them learn. And I can assure you that I will be making sure that you are the influence, that you influence the way this develops um, with our statutory regional, uh, regional bodies um, and public service Boards. So it's not about imposing anything new or new burdens or duties, but discovering together what more we can do to support our communities.